Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed. But the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since with their petrifying stares. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerity and obedience, in hope that the wind gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert whom Conroy has raised like a son. Mm. Well, not like his own son, of course. it every day for him. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, look what it can do. Conroy says it reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. I bet you've seen a lot, hmm? Being a pigeon. You know, I've never been allowed to leave the palace because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. But look here. I knitted it myself so that no one will be afraid and of me. And if the Basilian oh, turn uh, a stone, uh, it's your own uh, fault. Oh, these ungrateful worms. I'm only trying to help them. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> Robert, my dear boy, play my song. <gasps> oh, Robert, how many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. Hmm? <laughs> No! <laughs> no! What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry. Pigeon, I trusted you. I'll save your pendant. Oh. No, Robert, boy, stay here. Guard, bring me the hedgehog. Oh, uh. I'll catch it. Kitty, kitty, kitty. That thieving pigeon. I wonder why they search the girl. She looks rather nice. Hello. Can you help me? That depends on what you need. I don't have garbage. Garbage? Pardon? No, not me. Nobody's stealing garbage here. Especially not me. Well, I'm actually looking for... Do you need garbage? What do you sell here? Well, I don't want to brag, but I have the best garbage in Asposia. You sell stinking garbage. Ah, I see. You're an expert. Since when are you into garbage? I've, um, 
always thrown it away so far. Well, then don't be shy. Go ahead and look around my little shop. What's that? It's the best bird feed. I swear, no creature with wings can resist it. Great! That's exactly what I need. Can I have it? For a few Aspororo, it's yours. Aspo ra ro ri Sounds great. What's that? That's the price for the bird feed. I see. And what does that mean? Okay, I get it. You want to negotiate. Do I? What do you think of Asporora? Aspora? Are you trying to insult me? Okay. What do you think of Aspororo? And I'll even throw in this Conroy doll. He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. That's really kind of you, but I really don't need that. Do you have any idea what features this doll has? Conroy's help is good and fine, so be nice and wait in line. You get all that for Asporora. That's as low as I'll go. But... Okay, Asporo, but really no lower. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can't you just give me the bird feed? Okay, Aspiriri is fine. Pardon? Aspiri. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, jeez, okay. I'll give you the feed for asps. Are you happy now? Um, I don't know. What? Okay, I'll give you the doll on top of that. Agreed? Just take it. Does this mean I can have the feed and the doll for free? Yes, I told you. How much more do you want to humiliate me? Thank you. You're very nice. And you are the most cunning, cold-hearted potion I've ever had the displeasure to meet. Oh, I I'm very sorry for that. Well, thank you for the feed. It's filled with fermented nodtarine juice. How long has that been lying here for? <laughs> Smells like Tuesday. A year ago. Oh, great! My own windsock. Windsocks are awesome. Well, I, if it's just lying here, I guess I can take it. Oh, now the crutch's tip broke off. I hope the crutch's owner doesn't come back. Although I'd be faster anyways. Hi, Worm. You look thirsty. Come here, the party's over. I guess he doesn't notice much anymore. So what should I shoot at first? Well, I only hope I won't hurt it. Well, Worm, now you're free again. But I'll keep this cork. Hey, the bag is empty. What's the matter? Do you want your money back? Uh, I can keep the thread. If I tie the end of the windsock with thread... I'll have a great net. You can't escape. Hey! <laughs> what do you think you're doing here, Bozo? I, uh... A little hint? You're about to steal my pigeon. 
Oh, yes, uh... What? I'm not stealing the pigeon. It stole from Conroy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, stolen... Do you come here often? Whatever. Peck, come here. <laughs> Tell Conroy that from now on the winds are about to change. Ha! It was nice to meet you. Okay, keep calm. What would Conroy do? Oh no, he will kill me. I have to find that pigeon. And the girl too. Especially the girl. If I only knew her name. Laura. Wanted for theft, hostility towards the state of exposure, assault, chewing gum in public, enraging the Brazilians. She has a beautiful smile. If it's just lying here. It's familiar somehow. Hello. Hello, young man. I've never seen you here before. I'm new in town. Please. Who comes here voluntarily? Actually, I'm just looking for someone. Have you seen a girl passing by with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. The one from the posters? Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. What? Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Poor Conroy. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh. Yes. At least you can rely on the Brazilians. You know who she is? I can tell you a thing or two, my boy. But knowledge comes with a price, if you catch my drift. Uh-huh. You don't get it, do you? I'm afraid not. I would like to tell you. But worrying about my baby has made me forget everything. If my baby would be warm again, I could probably remember. Your baby's cold, but it looks so happy. Yes, with a smile it can better stand its destiny. Well, the cold, or the hunger, or the despair. Hey. Oh, I'm so sorry. How sorry? Uh, what? Well, I get sympathy every day for free. What I really need is something for my baby to wear. Oh, I understand, but now I really have to... Thank you. You're an angel. I had a onesie in mind. A what? A onesie. You know, footed pajamas, made from straw bear yarn, for my baby to wear. But where do I get such a onesie for your baby? If I'd known that, I would have taken care of it myself, believe me. But I have to stay here and protect the few belongings I still have. And the baby, of course. Where should I start looking for something like that? You'll think of something. Oh, it really should be organic straw bear yarn. But isn't that the most expensive material in Asposia? The Wind Monk's fabric? The fabric of nobles? The baby insists on it. Oh, yes, of course. I guess then... You should start to look for it. Okay, then. A onesie made from straw bear yarn. Well, then... Goodbye. Okay. If you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. I won't go home, that's for sure.
He who works without a moan. <laughs> Always at your service, Abbot Conroy. It could always come in handy. Tell me your sin. What should I confess? Confess your sins. But I didn't do anything wrong. Tell me your sin. You're not listening to me. Sacrifice a man to the Basilians. I guess I'll be going. Tell me your sin. No, I really wanted to. Tell me your sin. I'll just go now. Tell me your sin. I'll wrap the fish in paper. Hello. Are you the head of this establishment? I have no idea, sweetie. But I'm the owner of this bar. How about a jaw shatterer? A what? It's a liqueur. The specialty of the house. Thanks, but I'd rather not. Maybe a headcracker, then? Or a lava streamer? All of that sounds rather... violent. Violent? You probably mean easily flammable, sweetie. You look like you could use some more hair on your chest. Thank you so much. I will drink it later if I intend to uh, kill myself. Do you know anything about the machine at the Wind Fountain Square? Yes, I know of it. I stay away from it, and it stays away from me. Why? How can I explain this to you? Listen, sweetie. At a certain point, you start to turn a blind eye to things. What do you mean? I mean, I did things that you never could imagine. Not even in your wildest dreams. You've probably seen a lot of interesting things. Oh, you bet. I used to do things. Bad things. How bad? Talking about it alone would be reason enough to turn me into stone. That bad? Well, I found them rather amusing. But the Bazillions have a different take on the matter. Do I want to know? Believe me, you want to. I can't imagine something that bad. Oh, no? Well, then, let me help you out. He said... But his wife found out about it. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. <laughs> and then he said, well, That dog, that bastard. <laughs> but his cousin didn't have a clue. And then she came over. No more. And then they were... <laughs> I mean, the, the dogs. <laughs> really? And that's how I became the head of the book club. Oh, my... God. <laughs> um, I would prefer to talk about something else. Bye. Take care, sweetie. This mint has the shape of a coin. Hey, there's no bubble gum in here. These are marbles. Too bad. Marbles don't taste half as good as bubblegum, and they give you toothache. Fish oil as lubricant. 
Brilliant idea. Hang on, old man. Oh, Malleus, if I'd have known what you're hiding under that rope. What then, Audley? I may have let you in on a special offer. Is it true what they say about you guys? It depends. What do they say? Well, they say that you've never had a woman, and that given the chance, you take practically anything and everything you can get. That's true. I'd better take it before someone steals it. Hi, little guy. Friend or enemy? Uh, friend? Hmm, I guess if you were an enemy, you would let me know. My name is Detza, gentleman, adventurer, and explorer of everything unknown. Name your request. What kind of map is that? It's a treasure map. It will lead me to the Bazillion's treasure. That sounds awesome. Where is the treasure? It says it's somewhere in the root forest. Oh, in Asposia's most dangerous place? Nobody's ever returned alive from that forest. Yeah, I know. I was there once with a boy from the neighborhood hunting for gorfs. I tied him to a tree. He was never to be seen again. Oh. Yeah, but my mom said he's in a better place now. What is the Bazillion's treasure? The Bazillion's treasure is so secret that nobody knows what it looks like. But it's most likely in a treasure chest. And what did the Bazillions put into the chest? Their eyes! Oh, yuck. What would you do with them? I don't know. I guess I will try to break them. Well, that's it. Enjoy your game. What game? Okay. The marbles are sparkling in the chest. Hey, you're on a treasure hunt, right? Look what I've found. Oh boy, oh boy, the bazillion's eyes! Real treasure! Can I have the treasure map now? Sure, I don't need that old knitting pattern anymore. Tell me your sin. Okay, well. Realize the weight. Wait a minute. You did what? I had the same look on my face when Ottilie told me her sins. Hello up there. Can you hear me? Who's there? Friend? Enemy? Fan? I believe... Uh, friend? Oh, how nice to welcome a visitor. Why are you in prison? Oh, that's a long story. I used to be one of Asposia's tailors, but the wind gods found my robes to be too... provocative. They attacked the city, and Conroy captured me for my own safety. Against my will. Hmm. Actually, the story's not that long. You have to be Asposia's best tailor. Oh, I'm only a small stitch in the unending scarf of history. So you're a tailor? 
Oh, young friend, it's a lot more than a job. It's a calling. The needles are mental extensions of my arms. You have to become one with the fabric. The material has to flow through you. So, you're a tailor? Yes. You can't imagine how much I miss knitting. If you miss knitting that much, I can help you. Yes. Can you get me out of here? Oh, God. I've been waiting years for this moment. Hmm. Actually, I was hoping you could knit something for me. I mean, if you miss it that much and all. Oh, yes. Sure. That's also very... Mm, mm. What do you want me to knit for you? A onesie. Well, only if you want to. Oh, and then you get me out of here? I know. Conroy brought me here for my own safety. But I'd rather be turned into stone than spend another day in this cell. Well, I guess I can see what I can do. Great. Okay. Well, then I need a knitting pattern, needles, and, um, mm, what fabric are we looking for? Strawberry yarn would be best. Okay, well, I'm familiar with that. I used to have strawberry yarn when I was, well, free. But, but I really can't promise you anything. That's okay. This is the most hope I've had in years. That's, uh, um, really tragic. But back to the onesie. Feel free to ask whatever it is you want to know. Okay, I'm I'm going now. Oh. Okay, I'll stay here. Yes. Here, can you use this as a knitting needle? Well, I will be able to use it. May I ask where you got it from? From the Sino mat. Interesting. How did you come up with that? Oh, there was this lady behind the bar. Ah, uh, you're talking about Ottilie? <sighs> She's a babe. I'm afraid you've been imprisoned for far too long. We're still missing something for the onesie. I'm trying my best. The knitting pattern. Excellent. Oh, I see. That one's going to be one fashionable onesie. We're still missing something for the onesie. I'm trying my best. Will that work? I think so. Very interesting needle. What exactly is this? Uh... It looks exactly like a walking stick. Yes, funny, isn't it? <laughs> as long as you can work with it. If that were a walking stick, some crippled Asposian wouldn't be able to get around anymore without it. The important question right now is if you can knit with it. I just mean, it really looks exactly like a walking stick. It's a needle. OK, it will definitely serve the purpose. We're still missing something for the onesie. I'm trying my best. Here I found real strawberry yarn. My goodness, I would never have imagined that I would ever use this fabric again. It's very kind of you to let me assist in all of this. Yes, mm. I'm always glad to help. I can see I have an idealist before me. Now I have everything I need for the onesie. There you go. A onesie made from straw bear yarn. Great. Thank you so much. The baby will be happy. No problem. Oh, only just imagining the tiny thing kicking around in it warms my heart. Yes, thank you. You helped me a lot. Could you get me a baby? What? Why? I'm so lonely here. How about a dog? No, I sure won't. A potted plant? I'll go now. Here, I did it. A onesie made from real strawberry yarn. Little Conroy will stay warm from now on. My goodness, that was a joke. You really knitted a onesie made from strawberry yarn? I can't believe it. If I would have said gold, would you have gotten gold for me? Damn, I should have said gold.
but the baby insisted on it. It's a baby. It can't tell its toe from its nose. Uh, where can I find Laura? The Mikata is down the street. Try there. Try? I thought you knew for sure where I... Hey, how could I know that you would really bring me strawberry yarn? She'll be there. You better get looking before she leaves again. Okay, uh, thank you. At the Mikata. I should have said the baby needs a house. I should have said house. Wow, how nice. This is the art place, and... Oh, I think the play is starting. This is Little Finnis. Together with his parents, he was living a modest and happy life. Every day they went to a wind fountain in order to appease the gods with a small offering. But one day, Finnis's parents decided that they couldn't spare the offerings anymore. The wind gods didn't appreciate that at all. Well, little Finnis, obviously seeing you grow up, wasn't that important to your parents. In order for Finnis to avoid meeting the same fate as his parents, he has to listen to Conroy. The wisest of the Asposians has plenty of sound advice on how to stay on the wind god's good side. Praying every day helps. The Basilians like it when their people are living a modest life, void of demands. And don't forget the small offering. Do what Finnus does. Live the way that pleases the gods. And when in doubt, ask yourself, what would Conroy do? Wow, that was exciting. Wait a minute. There are feathers on the stage. Feathers. This can only mean either the pigeon thief is here somewhere, or someone is wearing a pigeon feather boa and tripped. Probably over these cracks in the ground. What was that? It wasn't me. Um, what's just happened? I found you, little Foz Foz. Don't worry, I'll bring you back to Conroy. <laughs> Root wax! Why doesn't this damn thing work? That idiot probably broke it. I'm sure she's not talking about me. <clears throat> if I ever see that imbecile again, I'll kill him. I hope she's not talking about me. The label says... Conrad's super glue. Mix with solvent, shake, and glue. Huh! Ottilie's liquor is as good as solvent. The cork fits perfectly. Shake well. Now I have glue.
I'll put some glue on the hand. The net is sticking to the hand. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I snatched the little phosphos from you. Almost. Wow, I'm so impressed that I'm going to continue to ignore you. I won't stand idly by while you steal Conroy's pendant and, uh... My father built that phosphos. Conroy stole it from him. But, uh, Conroy would never do that. Boy, how naive are you? <laughs> Come on. Please. Maybe it's just stuck? Why? Why won't it glow? <laughs> hey, don't cry. I can cry whenever I want. <laughs> if you want it to glow, you just have to. Look here. Give it to me. Laura, I hope you'll watch this. I'm deeply sorry, my girl. I had no idea what Conroy was planning. I... <laughs> Laura, listen to me carefully. The only way to stop Conroy. Laura, you must... No time left. In the root forest. To save the wind. Without the flute. We're running out of time. In the root forest. Ah! Leave it. Take care of the others. Oh. Rimanepo, old friend, what's going on? A little souvenir you've got there. Guards, take him to the chamber. Laura! This will forever remind me of today, the most beautiful day of my life. <sighs> what a strange nose. He always said I was the only one. What has Conroy done? He lied to me. <gasps> Robert, excellent work, my boy. Without you, we would never have found her. You scumbag! What have you done to my father? I know exactly! Guard! You've always said that the Phosphos reminds you of the best day of your life. I am sorry you had to find out this way, Robert, but there are no greeting cards for such things. Robert, come here. We both know you can't get by on your own. No. I mean, yes. I mean, yes, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> root forest, root forest. Okay. Okay, flute nose. Grab hold and put on the helmet. It could get dangerous. What <laughs> I need that flute nose. I really don't think that he will be coming back, sir. I was really only referring to his nose. What exactly are we looking for? My father talked about the root forest in the film. Did you not listen? Well, I was slightly distracted by the screaming Asposians and the Basilians. The place where the film was made has to be somewhere here in the forest. 
but the root forest is huge. And scary. We have to start somewhere. Don't you want to know the secret behind the petrified flute noses? Well... Of course. Let's go. Yeah, okay. I, I was just going to say that. Um, well then, let's go. Stop. There's a trap there. Where? Oh, yeah, I knew that. I just wanted to... Oh. Yeah, right, flute nose. I'm going to find another way into the forest. You stay here. Act petrified. And above all, don't touch anything. Pfft, as if I couldn't handle this trap by myself. Come on, spit that old liar out. Someone should keep an eye on you. That's what she meant by helmet. At least you're good for something. Ouch. So, trap set up. Let the tumble mouse come. Hold on tight. Safety looks stupid. I hope Laura won't see me. Brave helmet, you've done your duty. So, what are you then? Hello, my little... Can I pet you? Hello, young fella. The answer to your first question is... I am a gorf. The answer to your second question is... No, not unless you wish to die a cruel death. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were able to talk. No problem. Not many know I can. Most of the people who ever got to know me are dead. Actually, all of them are. Um... You should know that 96% of my body consists of lethal poisons. Oh, my God. Yes. I live safeguarded, but one becomes a bit lonely after a while. So, um, would you describe yourself as poisonous? It's the primary self-defense mechanism of my species. Gotcha. So, you can survive in the root forest, even though it's so dangerous? <laughs> to speak the truth here, what makes the root forest so dangerous is the gorfs. But what is so dangerous about you? In principle... Everything. I secrete a deadly corrosive fluid. My tail is a club of death. And don't even get me started about my claws. <laughs> they can sink into anything softer than diamond. Boy, could go on forever. I showed those traps. <sighs> Is there an explanation? Um, I disarmed the traps. Oh, 
loser. I just wanted... You're a wind monk. You're wearing Wind Guardian's red. Yes. This fabric conceals bloodstains. Please, don't kill me. I didn't intend to break your trap. Answer truthfully. Are you a threat to the secrets of the root forest? No, I'm not dangerous. I'm the opposite. I'm undanger... Um, Conroy always told me... Conroy? I hate that rotten, devious, treacherous dwarf. If I ever meet that slippery, detestable, naked mole rat again, I'll kick his wrinkled ass until he can wear himself as a hat. What? No, I, I don't know him. I've never heard of him before. Well, I, I used to be his apprentice a long time ago, but that was probably more than an hour ago. You'll talk sooner or later. Hey, Flute Nose, don't worry. I'll get you down. Hmm. What was that? Alive? Okay, yes, alive. Hey, Flute Nose, Robert, here. Laura, man, I'm glad you're here. I can't feel my legs anymore. Hmm. Who are you talking to? Only to myself. <laughs> Hello, Robert. How are you? Please don't kill us. I have to get him down from there. Flute Nose is slowly going crazy. Robert, if you can hear me, give me a secret sign. Okay, what's the secret sign? Boy, if I wanted to have someone to talk to, I would have caught a parrot. Laura, help! I'm sorry, I actually thought the rope would snap. And then what? I would have just fallen down. Yes, but you would have fallen into the soft swamplands. Correct. Hmm. Quiet! Don't you have any respect for a wind fountain, Guardian? Ew! There really are some disgusting creatures in this forest. These creatures happen to have ears and feelings that can be hurt. You can talk? What kind of funny animal are you? Excuse me, your companion was a lot nicer than you, young lady. Besides, funny is the wrong word. Unless you find it amusing when a living creature dies a gruesome death. Depends who it is. What a disgusting, stinky mud hole. Thanks, it's my home. It's no palace, but it's all mine. Holy crap, you live here? Absolutely. This area offers so many creative possibilities. How? Oh, a lot of stuff has sunken here. A vase, uh, an old pair of underwear, and uh, more arrows than I can count. I'm backed by those stalks that look like fir leaves and that crazy tree guy's glasses. The old guy's glasses are in the swamp? Yes, glasses are commonly used for reading books. Do you know what a book is? Are you sure that you're a rational amphibian and not a threatened by extinction because you couldn't shut up amphibian? Trust me, contrary to you, I've studied. Enough. I'll be going now. Oh, you'll be back. Don't think I didn't notice the sensual tension between us. Mm. Wow. I actually feel too sick to puke.
gotcha. Wow. Apparently someone stuck two big magnifying glasses together. What kind of characters are you, then? What are you doing here? Oh, look, gentlemen. We have a visitor. Great! Are you by chance the cleaning lady we called? Cleaning lady? You can start right there in the back. It's been years since it's last been swept. May I ask what you're doing here? Aerological research. What does that mean? You don't know? Vams, don't be so hard on her. She's just a cleaning lady. I can't believe it. She's never heard of aerology. What exactly are aerologists? Is that some kind of religion? Religion? <laughs> aerology is the science of the wind. It's a difficult field. Yes, sir. Religion is for weak spirits and holidays. We explore the gods' paths with gauges. Are you talking about that box back there? Box? Tola, did she just call it a box? Oh, yes. I think I heard it, too. So, please, box? This complicated apparatus sends out analog impulse vehicles, which we use to precisely analyze the wind. And then we draw these winds onto the map. The Erica Charter. I see. I have to go. Oh, before I forget, if you make the beds, could you maybe put little chocolate mints on the pillows? Oh, yes, I love those. Maybe I could just put a dead tumble mouse under your blanket. I love tumble mice. That explains a lot. You're coming with me. Come on, go home. I have to admit, that was impressive. Oops. What do we have here? Did you want to bring something with you into the afterworld? Well, not anymore. Hello, guys. I believe I found something that belongs to you. Oh, my God! A skull? What are we supposed to do with this skull? We were hoping until the end that he... Well, I'm sorry. Well, we could put flowers in it, right? Tola, that's Simon. Our friend Simon. What? <laughs> no, Simon is a lot bigger. And alive. Tola! Oh, my! Simon! Oh, no! Alex changed the skull for the globe. But that's the only thing that we have left of him. But then you'd have the skull. Right. Take it. Ah, it opens. It's patched up. The fountains are sealed. One bowl of stinky swamp water should be enough. Hey, a golden vine. Oh no, it's only sand. Yeah. 
Now that I have sand and swamp water, I think I'm all set. Great. Mud. Now what? It might work if I use the reed. Hmm. Yummy. Fueled up and ready to fire. Oh my gosh! She really did it! The maid fixed our machine. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Yes, Fiona is a beautiful name for a dog. New data for our map. Wonderful. Now we only need two more results. Oops, I think I have to press the button more carefully. The pointer fits perfectly into the other end of the reed. Yuck, now the arrow's sticky. They seem to love honey. He won't be able to hear anything anymore. I have to ask you another question. Must you really? Hey, I dislike this as much as you do. Have you by any chance seen a paper plane fly by? White, folded, consisting of paper. Yes. I just swallowed one of those exact things. Why are you swallowing paper planes? Are you always so indiscreet? Indis... what? Was that an insult? Oh, what am I supposed to say? Paper planes aren't my favourite dish. But I follow an instinct like all gorfs that tells me to eat small flying objects. Which means? I don't have a choice. Can't you just stop it? We well, don't want to eat the planes. I meant you're rambling. What's so dangerous about you? I happen to belong to the extremely dangerous species of gorfs. We belong to the family of rational amphibians. Which means? 
I've already explained this to your husband. Lethal poisons compose about 96% of my body. Except for this part of my head. That's just really itchy. Did you just say husband? Yes, and that I could kill you at any moment. He's not my husband. What makes you think that? Hello? I'm a cold-blooded killer. I'm not married. And I have a dry spot on my head. We all have our problems. Enough. I'll be going now. Oh, you'll be back. Don't think I didn't notice the sensual tension between us. Mm. Wow. I actually feel too sick to puke. Now it's aiming at the strange animal on the edge of the forest. Another paper plane. How nice. An extraordinary example. New data for our map. Wonderful. But we're still missing one last result. Look at the map. The wind swirls seem to be trying to tell us something. Now it's aiming at the crazy old man in the treehouse. South-southwest wind, arcing to the left. Last reading. Here, it's obvious. There must be another wind well. That's the discovery of the century. Think of the amazing possibilities we have now. We have to make a pact. We have to tear the map into four parts. Why four? Well, one part for me, one for you, one for Lats, and one for the maid. Let's tell Conroy. He'll appoint us to heads of aerology. Brilliant idea. Come on, my dear aerologists. Let's become the cornerstones of the science world. Yeah, listen to the guy who poured honey in the tank. Do you forget your... Oh, whatever. What's your plan? Don't worry. I thought of everything. You should land in the swamps. And if not? Just try. Worst case, you hit the ground. But what if... No talking. Aiming. What was that sound? Hmm. You're gonna talk. I'm patient. I've been patient for 20 years. Don't be sad. You only missed the swamp by 20 centimeters. Well, I didn't miss the rocks. Fortunately, the hornet's nest dampened the fall. Yes, but I shouldn't have tried to hang on to the thorns. Hey, we made it. According to the map, this should be the strange place. It's calm here. What's behind that gate? Let's fan out. 
Everything I touch breaks. It's really too heavy. I can't do it on my own. That doesn't mean that I'm weak. On the contrary, it takes strength to admit something like that. Laura will laugh at me anyway. Can you lift up the rock? Well, let's see. No worries. We won't talk about it. I like it when men are strong enough to show their weaknesses. Okay, Rock, hold on. We're going. What are you doing here? You didn't follow me, did you? Mr. Goff, what are you doing here? First of all, I'm a female. If it was your intention to offend me, then you now have one more enemy. Second of all, what do you two fools want with my gate? <laughs> what a crabby old hag. You can call me Gorfalina. Interesting, um, seat. Are you referring to the stone? Oh, I hate it. Grey's definitely not my colour. Why don't you go and sit somewhere else, then? Yes, after all, it is a petrified-ass potion that your green butt is sitting on. Oh, sweetheart, you have no idea. If I jumped down from here, I'd corrode a deep hole into the ground. Maybe we can help you to get down from there. No, you heard her. She'd just sink into the ground. What I wanted to say is that my skin is as corrosive as that green garbage bag you're wearing is ugly. <laughs> Look, Orphalina, we found a stone for you. You can come down from there now. You couldn't find a nicer one? Oh, I'm going to... you stupid! Laura, no. Uh, let me take care of this. Orphalina, would you please switch to the other stone? Sure, no problem. Thanks. See, Laura, she's actually quite nice. Robert, she won't come down from there. Certainly not. But how come? Give me one good reason. So, how are you doing? Oh, good. I'm just working on my tan. Why do you want to get a tan? I think the green looks great on you. Really? Really. I used to have a cactus that I loved dearly. You remind me of it. Oh, thank you. You know, I don't get a lot of compliments. I don't believe that. I do. You're quite a catch. Why do you put up with that gnome next to you? Oh, Laura can be really nice. What makes you say that? She's just energetic. I'm not energetic. I'm contagious. Ah, oh, sweetie, I think you're super nice. No, you're super nice. No, this is super disgusting. Do you think you could hop just a little bit onto the other stone? What do I get in return? What would you like to have? You know, I can search for something to exchange with you. I do that all the time. A single kiss would be enough. But that would kill me. Ah, oh, you're so sweet. Yes. Perfect for inducing vomiting. Oh, all right, sweetheart. I will jump over for you. Exceptionally light. Must have been a hollow asposion. <laughs> 
Now I feel bad. That should work. I'll build myself an Asposian. What is he doing there? He's playing his flute nose. Flute nose? He's covering his first and his last nose hole. Can you do that too? I mean, even the statue can do it. Try it. Wow, flute nose. Your nose is really strange, but good strange. Also, impressive strange? Too much, flute nose. Oh, I should have quit while I was ahead. My father made the film here. Look here, the drawing he made. Hmm, a ring in a ring in a ring. Do you see that arrow? Something must be hidden there. But what? And where? Aha! Ha! What the... Mm, you noticed our wall painting. Its name is Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, which means infinity. Mm, it's been drawn by the famous painter, Cavanosa Canasostri, 200 years ago. But my father painted it. Cavanosa Canasostri was your father? He just made that name up. What is it illustrating? In my opinion, it sort of looks like the rings in the Wind Chapel, but I'm no art connoisseur. Wind Chapel? And what kind of place is this here? Glad you asked. Hello and welcome to the halls of the Dynasty. There you go, your guest passes and one soft cookie each. Hmm, hmm. Hmm. Thanks. Mm. On behalf of our team, we wish you a pleasant visit. That cookie was delicious and really soft. Keep track of your luggage, don't take pictures, no phosphos, no loud breathing, don't touch anything. Parents are liable for their children. Thank you. Mm. As long as the guy doesn't look over here... No one would notice if a few are missing. What book is that? Baking for Posers by Gore Dunn Rumsey. Hmm, maybe I can impress Laura with it. Uh, Do you have any questions? Yes, what are you doing here? I manage the reception. Oh, please. Laura. But that guy is totally insane. <clears throat> I am not insane, thank you very much. Should you have any complaints, I can refer you to my boss. Fine. I would like to speak with your boss. Laura, don't make a scene. Hmm, you have a complaint about my colleague. What's that lazy good-for-nothing idiot done now? Wow. So, um, you're the boss here? Excuse me. I haven't been working 25 years at the reception just to be the boss here. Sorry. Oh, no, no. You don't have to apologize. What do you need a receptionist for? Well, I'm a relic, so to speak, of former times. Steve joined us after the attack when the dynasty was already gone. What dynasty? Every time I think of it, I remember the song. It starts like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, not again! <coughs> Calm down, Steve. I've forgotten the rest anyway. I hate that song! Regarding the guest passes, what exactly can we do with them? Well, 
What would you like to do with them? Can we use them to have a look at the ruins? No, sorry. They only allow you to see the courtyard. But then why did you ask us what... A guest pass only permits access to... to the inner... courtyard. According to the regulations. And who came up with these stupid regulations? I did! How can we get into the Wind Chapel? Only with golden passes. Oh, OK. And where can we get those? You don't get them. You just have them. I see. And who, um, has such a golden pass? The family. What family? The family that used to live here. The petrified Aspersians? No! The family is still alive! They'll return any moment! OK, quiet. No sudden movements. Can you show us the inner courtyard? Do you have a guest pass? What? You just gave us these stupid passes. Yes, we do. My pleasure, then. Please follow me. Mm. Ah! You want to go back? Mm. Follow me. We know the way. That's not the point! Laura, he doesn't want us to walk around by ourselves. OK, my gosh. Steve, just so you don't feel completely useless, please escort us out. Very well. Follow me. Wow, it's heavy. The perfect balance of kitchen utensil and weapon. Hmm. Steve won't notice if some are missing. He hasn't even noticed yet that he's been talking to himself for decades. Not possible. Now I have golden passes. Golden passes. Take care, Frank and Moth. You were a good friend. We would like to see the Wind Chapel. Do you have a golden ticket? Oh, yes. 
please follow me. Mm. Look at all the petrified aspersions. Isn't that sad? By petrified aspersions, you mean, of course, the life-size replicas. By life-size replicas, you mean, of course, the petrified aspersions. Laura, if Steve doesn't want to have anything to do with reality, that's his choice. Thank you. Wait. Their noses. They are all like you. We're like you. I'm sorry, Flute. Uh, um, sorry, Robert. It's okay. I didn't know them. At least, I don't think I do. What are you doing here? And who's watching the reception desk? Hey, Pete, you started singing a song earlier. Can you remember now how the rest of it goes? But I can't remember the middle part. How did it go again? Yeah, yeah, the melody in between is missing. How did that go again? Ah, I need fresh air. Do you think then you'd remember it all? Certainly. I know myself like the back of my hand. I know I would remember the rest of it then. Hey, Laura. Laura, I would like to look around the ruins. Can you distract Steve? I mean, Pete. Whoever. Fine. I'll try. Hello? Can I talk to you? Ah! It's about cookies, right? Hmm? Well, actually... The history of the cookie is one full of misunderstandings. For example... Thanks. That's enough. Sorry, I can't do it. I wanted to kill him after only two words. Here, use these as earplugs. They might help with Steve's blabbering. It's worth a try. Wish me luck. Good luck. Can you still hear? What did you say? Wow, your voice is beautiful when you scream like that. I'm ready. You can yap away now. So, the history of the cookie is one full of misunderstandings. Cookies, blah, 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 soft, blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. Interesting. Yes. Tell me more. Thanks for scratching my belly, baby. I suppose this grater won't ever grate again. Wow, impressive. Butter cookies, of course, were invented in 1412 by the man from the very back of the kitchen, and uh, he was looking for some margarine cookies, but eventually he only had butter cookies. Really?
Thanks, Laura. That's enough. Thank you, Steve. That was really very uninteresting. Ah! You want to go back? <laughs> Follow me. Mm. Uh. Do you have any questions? Can you show us the inner courtyard? Do you have a guest pass? What? You just gave us these stupid passes. Yes, we do. My pleasure, then. Please follow me. Mm. What are you doing here? And who's watching the reception desk? Eh? Do you remember the rest of the song now? Yes, I think I got it. <laughs> Knock it off! Oh, that brings back old memories. Lovely, isn't it? You want to go back? Mm? Follow me. Uh, Do you have any questions? We would like to see the Wind Chapel. Do you have a golden pass? Oh, yes. Please follow me. Mm. Can you sing that song again? Of course! <laughs> Stop singing! It's forbidden to sing that song anymore! Oh, how wrong you are, old friend. It must be sung. These halls have been silent for far too long. Come on, boy. Let's rock these old walls. Can you distract him again? Well, with the earplugs, it should be fine. Good luck. I'm ready. You can yap away now. Hard cookies, of course. <laughs> yes, lovely. Um, uh, uh, some of the worst kind of cookies you can have because they make your gums hurt. And I, I don't really like hard cookies, but we never know, do we? Because hard cookies are some people's favourite. Yes. Yes. All the ingredients are in there. The dough is ready. Something's in the oven. How do you get the fire beetles to glow? Insult them until the correct temperature is reached. It's recommended that beginners avoid harsh swearing. No liability for consequential damage. Fire beetles. There were a lot of these in Conroy's kitchen. Conroy said I could have one as a pet, but I always burned myself.
you have to say something to them to get them to heat up. How am I supposed to insult beetles? Wait, what would Conroy say? You unworthy worm, you're a disgrace to all apprentices. That's why your parents dumped you on me. That's the reason why nobody loves you or ever will. The key should be done by now. How do I get them to cool down again? Oh yeah, compliments. <laughs> hey beetles, what's black and shiny and awesome? <laughs> That's right, you are. Hey, it worked. And those were some of Conroy's nicer insults. Burn, Conroy. <laughs> ah, oh, that's hot. <laughs> Looks like the original and smells like cinnamon. And you go back in my pocket. cookies on the other hand. Oh, uh, yes, mm, uh, my favourites are the soft cookies. Some people don't like them, but I think they're rather lovely. Of course. Thanks, Laura. That's enough. Thank you, Steve. That was really very uninteresting. You want to go back? <laughs> Follow me. Mm. It really works. Wow, look! Your nose music made them glow. Do it again. Esposian who has the skills to do this. My father must be here somewhere. Don't be scared, Laura. Huh? What? Oh. He must be here somewhere. I have to find him. Wait, what am I supposed to do without you? Take that. Huh? A piece of paper, but what? Uh... Good luck! Laura! I think she ran to that tall, dangerous, ancient-looking building that's surrounded by guards. Great. Laura must have gone this way. I wish I could jump over roofs like her, but I have to use my head. I have to find Laura.
Dr. Roberts here. Well, let's test your reflexes. Ow! Can I have that? No. Only mechanic guards are authorized to use it. You don't look like a mechanic guard. Oh, sorry. No problem. I keep forgetting what I'm doing here as well. Uh, mechanic guard here. Buddy, can I borrow some of your tools? Colleague? Hmm? I'm not falling for that one. You're one of those Outlook guards that never brings anything back. Tell me your mechanic guard identification code. Okay. Hey, wait a second. The code has three parts. Sure. I was just about to tell you the second part. Oh, that's a great color. Totally underrated. What about the third part? Really? <laughs> that's funny. I thought you were dead. Well then, help yourself. I have no idea what this is good for anyway, but bring it back. Mechanic Guard 8 Yellow 10. Can I have this bucket of clear varnish? Fine by me. I have no idea what it's for anyway. But bring it back. Mechanic Guard 8 Yellow 10 here. I'm taking this with me, okay? What do you have there? I don't know exactly. Okay, take it. Come here, little flag. Your job just became significantly more interesting. Coffee's ready. Now I have an exclamation mark that's covered in black varnish. So, time to go to sleep. Hey, what's this? What's that sheet for? No, please! We can work this out! Oh! <laughs> I made wonderful tracks there. What have I done? Stop! Uh... Is that you on the poster? Then I would have to arrest you. No, no. It, if I'm standing here, I can't be the guy on the poster, right? Hmm. My brain hurts. I have a message for you.
Look back there. <gasps> Look over there. What's over there? I can't see anything. Over there? Maybe I can see it if I look a little longer. Hmm. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Wow. I never would have thought that of myself. Well, then. I'd better arrest myself. Yes, that's what I should do. Will you cover me in the meantime? Sure, I'd be glad to help. I found him! Is that your father? Yes, I think he can hear me. Don't you think so? Hmm, the glass looks pretty thick. And he doesn't seem to notice that much anymore. Um, I mean, don't worry. He knows I'm here. <laughs> Dad! Okay, come with me. We'll find a way to get him out of there. No, I'm staying here. I don't want to leave him alone. But you haven't seen him in years. A few more moments won't hurt. And you won't even notice, so... Flute Nose, stop trying to comfort me. Sorry, I better go. Have fun. Eh? And don't die. Okay. Or I'll kill you. Understood. All right, so I'm gonna... Bye. Fonk? I'm in the throne hall again? Oh, please, no. This brings back memories. Over there is my bunk, and back there is my dream corner. I always sat there and dreamt about being someone who didn't need a dream corner. But this here is new. Hmm, looks like Asposia, only darker and without life. I have a bad feeling. Oh, no, I don't want to stay here again. Okay, calm down. How can I get out of here? There was a clicking sound behind the painting. <coughs> you can certainly tell it belongs to Conroy. Oh, I destroyed art. Hey, Conroy's powdered sugar is in there. A white bazillion. Funny, his eyes look a lot bigger all of a sudden. Well, here's some of your old home remedy, Conroy. Should I have a bad conscience? No. Only two bottles are still full. Conroy's anti-dandruff fish oil and his knockout drops. There are more and more of them. I need to hurry. Ha! Huh. Fingerprints around a suspicious looking notch.
I'd better leave the quill in there, so the throne won't close. Hmm, a fist on a spring. Fits like a glove. The perfect weapon. I think that's a good plan. Hello, we turned off the electric shocks. Dr. Reminepo, you can move freely now. Dad, can you hear me? Okay, we're supposed to get a diamond. Oh no! Where are we gonna find a diamond? Hey, Doctor, I have a diamond. Wow, flute nose. Thank you. Laura, it's not for you, but if you want, I can get one for you, too. Maybe attached to a ring? Flute nose? What the hell are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. Tumble Mouse. Tumble Mouse? I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm so glad that you're alive, Daddy. My little Tumble Mouse. I knew you could do it. When did you grow up so fast? Don't matter. You'll always be my sweet little girl. <laughs> uh, who's that young man over there? Dad, this is Robert. He helped me. Ah, mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. What are your intentions with my daughter? What? Uh, none. We just met. Dad, leave Flute Nose alone. He's really nice. They're always nice in the beginning. I've always dreaded the day when my little girl would meet and... Wait, Flute Nose? You survived. I, um, don't know what you mean. You must listen to me carefully. Ever since the beginning of time, a secret dynasty reigned over Asposia. All dynasty members had instruments as noses. They brought the wind to Asposia. They could control the wind by playing music with their noses? Not control it. They created it. But the wind monks... They were initiated by the head of the flute noses. They were supposed to execute the dynasty's will, one monk for every fountain. The last three before the attack were Malleus, Pandur, and Conroy. Conroy had his own ideas concerning reigning. Oh, man. I can imagine what happened. Please tell me, why not? Because I won't allow you to implement the death penalty again. But... End of discussion.
We can't let him go on like this. He's dangerous. I know. Soon he will be able to play with us. Oh, darling. He still tries to eat his own hand. Give him a little more time. At that moment, Conroy came into my workshop. I refused to help him, but he threatened to harm you, Laura. I was supposed to build something for him and... Abbot Conroy, what brings you here? I won't change my mind. I have decided to give you another chance. You now have the chance to acknowledge my free reign. And why should I do that? I have the Wind Gods on my side. There are no Wind Gods. There's only us. Really? Save him! Oh, I tried to do something. She didn't make it. Then Conroy took you. Why didn't he just turn me into stone as well? Without you, there would be no wind at all. Whenever I had to play for him... His wind fountain provided wind. Not much. It needs a whole orchestra to operate properly. But thanks to you, we haven't suffocated yet. Flute nose? I'm sorry, boy, but you carry the responsibility now. Conroy has been forcing me to build an army of bazillions for 13 years now. If we don't stop him, then I don't know what's going to happen. What's his plan? The wind is becoming more scarce. He wants to turn all Asposians into stone who could steal his air. Sounds like him. Did you find the marbles that I hid? Yeah, sure. It was easy. But what are we supposed to do with marbles? We don't have time to play. We need to save the world. No, these are depetrifying marbles. We have to install them in a bazillion. Only if we can revive the orchestra do we have a hope of stopping Conroy. And then for my fifth birthday, he allowed me to bake my own cake. I thought it was the most generous thing a father could do for his child. And then his stupid hedgehog ate it. Yes, listen, I completely understand that you're upset. Upset? I'm not just upset. How would you feel if you'd been lied to and betrayed your whole life? He took my family from me. He treated me like dirt. I am... Angry? Oh, am I angry? So, I installed the marbles. You should unpetrify everything now. Ocarino, are you ready? Who's Ocarino? Flute nose? Sweet Pea, show a little more respect. He's the legitimate leader of Asposia. Ocarino Augustus III. Flute nose? Ocarino Gustus the Third. That sounds way better than Robert. I still think Robert is a nicer name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my boy, <laughs> why did you have to go snooping around? Now I have to kill you all. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, oh, Dora, Again. Enough. Free the Basilians. I've been nice for much too long. Interesting. I survived without a scratch. Oh no. Finally, I have a depetrifying bazillion, but it's broken. I probably shouldn't have crash landed it. Come on, let's go save the world. Ow! 
Ouch! They're hard as rocks. What happened to the soft cookies? There are no more. Since someone tried to mix glass splinters, rust and stone dust with my blender. Who would do something like that? A little phosphos is all by itself in the parachute. Two little phosphos are laying together in the parachute. Three little phosphos are lying in the parachute. Three little phosphos in the parachute. Maybe I should turn it a little. Maybe I should turn it a little. My gosh, that could have gone very wrong. Oh, the brain. You can never have too many brains. Maybe I should turn it a little. Maybe I should turn it a little. Do you want some gum? Sure. Give it here. Great. Now I can glue things to it. Hey, stop it! You! You're not getting the mirror! Give him the mirror! No! Mm. And that's final! Hello, Steve. Uh, Pete. Uh... Hello. How are you, Your Grace? What can I do for you? Why can't I have the mirror? Don't you touch it! Steve, if he wants the mirror, just give it to him. No! If you don't leave my mirror alone, I will have to ask you to leave. Are you aware of whom you're talking to? That's Ocarino's boy. That's impossible! Hmm? The successor is still a baby. But it's me. I mean, that was me. I'm the baby. You don't look like a baby. I must apologise on behalf of my colleague, Your Grace. He's an idiot. Pete, can you help me get the mirror? I'll do what I can to convince this ignorant idiot. I heard that! The mirror's not up for discussion. Mm. The boy gave you an order. Who is he to give orders? I don't know why I... He's the heir to the throne. We serve the House of Gustus. No, he's not. The heir to the throne can't even crawl yet. Mm. Hey, I can so crawl. I'm actually quite good at crawling. It's been 15 years. There's nothing left of the convent but rubble and ash. Open your eyes. I see no rubble here. I don't know why you keep saying that. Stop it! The king is dead and so is the rest of the dynasty. Shh! And all because you let Conroy walk through the door. Stop it! I didn't know... It's all your fault. Look around. This is all that's left. No gold and no music. You 
let misfortune in. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'd better put this fish on the button. Yes, that's a good spot for the fish. That was clever of me. Stop right there. Conroy, what, what are you doing here? What are you planning? Come back home, Robert. Come back with me to the palace. That was never my home. You destroyed my home. Oh, my boy. Why do you speak to me this way? I'm going to tell you what will happen next. When we both return to the palace, I will find a nice big chain for you. And you will play my favorite song. Pretty, clean, one note, just like old times. I will never ever play for you again. Oh, but Robert, you won't have a choice. You will have to breathe sometime, and by then... I will have taught a guard how to cover your nose holes to play music. What makes you think the Asposians will forgive you once they know what you've done? What Asposians? At this very moment, my army is petrifying anything that moves. Once I'm done with Asposia, I will have built a big, beautiful garden of statues. How could I have not realized all these years what a monster you are? You will have a lot of time to think about that when you're sitting in a cell in the palace. Why don't you just shoot me? Boy, you've always been like a son to me. I would never do that to you. You will have to, because you won't get me alive. <laughs> ah. Ah. Huh? <laughs> I guess that didn't work. Now it's my turn. That's enough. If I turn you into a statue, at least I can take you with me in a box. Oh. <gasps> Luckily, his weapon doesn't work properly. At least this time. Mind if I take you with me? That can't be. Don't move. Why should I listen to you? I'm the one with the weapon. Good point.
It will always remind me of the most beautiful day of my life. Hmm, some more pictures here and there. And it would be a lot cosier. Mind if I take you with me? You're coming with me, old friend. think you are, rascal, to just waltz into our holy halls? I, uh, I'm Robert. No, you're not. You're Ocarino's boy, and you have grown up. My goodness, how long ago was it that Conroy attacked us with the Brazilians? I, uh, I'm afraid about 15 years. 15? Holy Phosphos in a can. We will take care of that scumbag. Where is your father? I must speak with him. Was that him? Yes, my dearest friend, my old conductor. Is my mother perhaps somewhere here? During the attack, I saw her get turned into stone and broken into pieces. I'm so, so sorry, my boy. She was such an intelligent, good-hearted. It's such a shame, such a shame. But your parents loved you so dearly. You can't imagine how much. Really? Your father would have been proud of you. Ocarino had always hoped that you would lead the orchestra in his place someday. Come on, my boy. Let's do him the favor. some swing back in them. Ah, yes, you are really old. Which reminds me, the petrified Aspersians. I have to help them. But sadly, there's no quick way out of the forest. No worries. I'll just fly there. What? You can fly? No, I'll just ride the bazillion. You ride the bazillions? But they're godly creatures that... No, mine's broken. I'll just have to take Conroy's. Okay, you know the song. I'll be right back. Ah. <sighs> What a courageous lad, our conductor. Play loud, you noseless sons of keyboards. Let's blow them away. Everybody's unpetrified, including the flute nose dynasty. Asposia finally has its wind back. <laughs> Great. Does that mean I have to meet your parents now? No, they're dead. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, me too. No, sorry that 
that I'm always mean to you. I actually do it just because I really like you, flute nose. What was that for? That was for saving the world. <coughs> and that's for oh. the kiss. You thought I wouldn't notice. That was totally worth it.